I love anything out of the ocean. All right, scallops are no exception. They run off jet propulsion. They got 100 eyeballs with different retinas so they can see shades and they just float through the ocean. Bivalves, they're incredible. We eat the abductor muscle. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, let's get into a fun scallop dish. So here we are, these little beauties. Now we do eat the abductor muscle and it's a bivalve, right? So it's the, 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 the shell, all right, if you will, is, is connected here and it does this, this, and this, and then it's connected to the shell by this little piece of sinew. Now some people, Nathan, like to leave this on and I chew. I do. If I see that in a it's restaurant, chewy. it is chewy. It's like, come on, man. Like, well, I like it. All right, we're taking these off today, okay? I'm, I'm a fan of getting rid of, and you can see them. There's a difference, there's a coloration, difference there's a striation difference uh, and so I like personally to take those off all right so now we have prepared or fabricated our uh, scallops and we're ready to rock there okay nothing that is easy peasy lemon squeezy next thing we're gonna do is prepare our garnish and it's funny I've chosen a garnish today which is gonna take longer than the cook itself the, sca <laughs> the scallops the scallops take I don't know what 45 seconds to cook okay anything out of the ocean uh, sashimi grade you can just eat raw but we want to put a big bold sear on there uh, today I've stabilized the Kamada Joe classic 2 at 400 degrees and I've got, I'm showcasing both sides of this accessory. So this is the cast iron griddle, one of my favorites. You see me use it a lot. I've got the griddle side on one side and then the raised tines on the other. And okay, that's reversible. So you have both, uh, both of these have each side. I wanna grill that avocado to give it a little more smoky flavor. Uh, but talking about that garnish, it's gonna take a while. Let's go ahead and slice these bell peppers thin and I'm gonna cut off the top and the bottom and then notice how there's a seed chamber in the center we're just going to draw with our knife and pop out that seed chamber and now that we've got our seed chamber out we're going to really draw this super thin okay so thin to win we want to curl these thin julienne slices oh, wow. it's thin it is thin, and, and by doing this, we're taking out all the bitterness, right? So that's where the seeds were touching. And we're gonna take it one step thinner even. Uh, by slicing this really thin and placing it in ice water, it actually curls up a little bit. So it usually takes about 30 minutes for it to start curling wow, up. Wow, look at that. Yeah, and that is just the sweet, sweet right there. We could even do it one more time, but I think for a town this size today, we're gonna be all right. So again, we take out and the way I'm doing this, I'm putting a little positive pressure with my thumb here, but I'm trying to keep it parallel to the cutting board and just little saw motions back and forth. And you can actually see the knife through the skin. And yes, you can do this at home. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. So I'm going to go one more time. And isn't that beautiful? And if you cut through, you can just start back in again. Stunner. All right, so now that we've got this nice and thin, let's go ahead and do the same thing with an orange one. You know, I love these garnishes. You talk about perception of value. So just by taking your time uh, with this one little part of the dish will raise the entire dish perception of value when you look at it. You'll see, oh my gosh, how was that done? Uh, it looks so cool, it looks so fun, and it couldn't be any easier. We're just taking our time. I'm gonna stack them like a deck of cards and we're gonna go really thin. I'm gonna use my eagle claw here and just use the knuckles. Then to win. Little ribbon cuts. And now that we've got these nice thin pieces, and we'll do the same for the red and the rest of the orange, we're gonna plunge them into some ice water. begin to curl for us okay so our garnish is working our grill is stabilized at 450 degrees let's do that one more time it's too much move. <laughs> it's the little things you know it's it really is it really is let's go ahead and season up our scallops today i'm going to be using a lane's barbecue kunami oh yeah uh yeah i like the turbinado sugar the salt the pepper the garlic powder uh, it's even got a little togarashi in there and sesame seeds so really nice on seafood 
So while this is sitting here, we're gonna put a little oil right on the other side. And we're gonna bring our scallops on over. It's a nice sear spot right there. Oh yeah. Mm. Sizzling right when it hits. And, and watch it change shape a little bit, right? It's losing moisture. The proteins are starting to turn a little bit. Oh, I'm loving that. As, as the smoke starts to come out from that natural lump charcoal, it's gonna impart a little bit of flavor, like we talked about, that flame-kissed flavor. Oh yeah. Look at that, and that's all we need right there. Stunner. So let's go ahead, while these are finishing up on that one side, let's go ahead and scoop these avocados right in. And start macerating with a fork. And if you have a little blender, you could use that as well. And that little bit of sear that we brought to these avocados is giving it, you know, some things that are cooked just completely change. And the surf of this, surface of this avocado has completely changed. Think about wine when it's raw versus wine when you cook with it. Same thing with avocados. Now we're going to put in a little bit of honey to bring a little sweetness. And let's put a little acid in there with a touch of Grey Poupon mustard. I've got a little heavy cream just in case we want to change the consistency, but this was a ripe enough avocado that I think with the two additions of those semi-liquids, we're right where we want. Now that being said, let's go ahead and switch over here. It's a quick fire. We got to switch over here to the scallops and we got a nice sear. Look at that. Oh yeah. The cast iron does such a great job of connectivity and searing. Easy now. Beautiful. All right, back over here, back over here. I'm gonna switch to a spoon now and draw right into the back. We want this a little clumpy, but not too clumpy. We go in with a little bit of our Kunami seasoning. Grab our presentation plate. And then how many scallops do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So we need five dots. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and transition our scallops right on top of there. I love bringing my presentation plate to the grill. There's just something so satisfying about the immediacy of building the plate right here, flame side. Oh, all right, our garnish, we'll dry that off before we put it on there. And we started to get some curls on here. You know, we could leave that for an hour or so and we'd get even more, but I'm just not patient enough. And, and that's what you want to start to see. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna dry these off a little bit. And that's great. And just a little nest of equal orange and red just on top of each. And it's a little artsy, you know? It's kind of fun, it's arts and craftsy today. Anything that's touching the plate, just disappear it. This is just a stunner of a dish. And you could do these the night before and they'd really curly queue up. And since we've dried them off, we don't have any worries about the garnish itself. I'm gonna put a little uh, reduced balsamic over the top, just one little squiggle line. Start on this side. And, and team, Food should transport you. You know, it's 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 an aesthetic. That's a walk off home run right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know the char. Oh, let's just try it. It could be terrible, right? Oh, ah, I saw that. <laughs> All right, just a little bit there. It's been a minute for me and scallops. That is that is superb. The mouthfeel from the the avocado. It's just decadent. You pick up that charcoal flavor. The slight textural contrast of the bell pepper given that little snap that's needed. If it were sea of same and all the same texture, it just wouldn't work. And that balsamic in the end bringing a little sweetness. The Kunami sings as well. Um, this is just a super fun, super simple dish. And you know, you get this garnish done uh, the night before. Honestly, it takes you about five minutes to create. So simple things done perfectly yet again. 
uh, don't have to be difficult. And I want to remind everybody, if you enjoyed this uh, little bit of deliciousness here, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave us a comment, hit that notification button. And as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling. Thank you.